Hello, welcome to the Peaceful Woodturner. This is an odd piece. It's just basically an experiment for me at this point. I'm just going to try to see if I can actually uh, work with this. I really liked the angle this had on it and when it was cut. This is just a piece of the tree that somebody was throwing out. It's a, an evergreen, I think a pine, but I'm not very good at identifying some of these. I don't know whether it's a pine or fir and that kind of stuff at this point. Uh, it had long needles, if that helps. But what I'm going to do is start by just rounding it down a bit. I want to try to maintain this angle, but I'm going to round it down, hollow it out, see if I can get an interesting looking vessel out of it. So I'm going to start at a relatively low speed and uh, just try to work my way in. That's a lot of fun. It's got some really neat pieces to it. We need to bring it down a little bit more because I really want to get rid of this bark. But we're coming out pretty good so far. I'm going to switch out my tool rest. So I've got a straighter tool rest. It's not really supposed to be going this way, it's supposed to be going the other way. But this gives me the, the straight long section that I need right in the area I need to work on. Nice. Move down here and just kind of smooth this out a little bit. And then we'll start actually finishing off the outside.
not sure how I feel about that. I like that little bead there, the cove and everything, but I think I want it smooth. Alright, I'm just going to use the skew to just try to smooth this out a little bit. Being that this is a softwood, I am getting a bit of tear out. But hopefully I can get enough of it off to be able to not have to do too much sanding. I tried turning up the speed, but that wasn't a good idea. Alright. too tight there. The rest is coming out smooth. I'm going to go back to the spindle gouge to take that part off. So I've got a little bit of a valley right here, just a little bit. I want to see if I can take that down a bit, and then I'm going to work on starting to finish this edge off and hollow it out. Alright, so I have been hollowing things with a uh, Forstner bit a little bit, but I figured I would try doing this with the bowl gouge, um, just because this, this is actually some pretty soft wood right in here. Let me at least see if I can get some of it uh, opened out. It's coming along pretty good. What I'm concerned about is overreaching a bit here. So I'm going to go in a little bit deeper and then I'll probably use a force in a bit to finish it off. pieces I'm going to have to get some bigger tools, but it's not a very big lathe either, and I'm not very skilled yet, so that can wait. Let me get this set up, and I'll do some more. So I've used the Forstner bits a little bit to do this, uh, not a huge amount, but I know that I need to start off with a smaller bit and work my way up. Being that this is pretty soft, I think I can get away with starting with this one inch bit. So I'm going to move it in close, where it's not touching anything yet, and just double check, make sure I've got it tightened all the way up. Yep. Lock that down. Good, no contact. 
contact. Turn my speed down a bit, and here we go. Actually looks pretty nice in there. I'm getting happier and happier with how this is turning out. Walls are getting thinner. I'm almost where I want to be. All right, this is going to be tricky sanding in here. I have a feeling I'm going to be bouncing around a lot, but I'm going to see if I can get a feel for it at least. Uh, I'm just going to use a hundred grit sandpaper to start with. And I'm going pretty slow, about 500 RPM. Well, I'm smoothing it, 
but I'm not real comfortable with this at all. So I think I might end up doing the top part here by, by hand. Probably be a good way to round it off too. And then I'll work on the inside. Alright, that edge is looking better. I think I should be able to get the inside with a, a sanding tool. And I should be able to smooth the outside with the skew and then sand that. And then this will be the tricky part right here. Alright, I'm reset. I've got my skew. I'm going to just try to plane this off a bit. There is a little bit of tear out in some of the grain here. But at the same time, I've got some really pretty figuring. So. Hopefully this will come out pretty nice. the tear out right there and we spank it that off. All right, I've got quite a few tool marks, but I think I'm going to have those. So let's try a bit of sanding here. I'm going to use the same 80 grit pad on the sponge. It's going to go about 500 RPM. And that unscrewed. But it did smooth that out a bit. How are we looking? It's going pretty nice. I'm going to hit this with a little bit, just regular sandpaper, 
Try to see if I can just keep a steady pressure there. Okay, before I go too far, I want to work on this end here, see if I can smooth it out a little bit. So I was looking and uh, my palm sander is about the same size as this end. So I should be able to just use my palm sander to flatten this out and uh, work with the angle that's already there. And in that way, I'll be able to take out some of these rough spots too. So I learned from doing something like this, I should block sand it. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. All right, time to go for some uh, finer grits of sandpaper here. And I was thinking about just putting the wax on it. We'll see. All right, I've got a 220 grit sandpaper. This is a 500 grit with a mineral oil on it. I've never used mineral oil on it before. I've used a uh, oil linseed oil. Never used mineral oil this way. I felt like the boiled linseed oil kind of went away a little faster, worked its way in and dried off a little faster. But it's got a nice color. That's pretty right there. That's really pretty. So now I am going to put a little bit of a beeswax and boiled linseed oil finish on it and figure out exactly how I'm going to work out the inside. Then I'll part it off and we'll be good. So I'm just buffing with a mixture of uh, uh, beeswax and boiled linseed oil. 
and that's going on top of the mineral oil that's already there. But it should be working into the grain pretty well. It's brought out a nice color, not too extreme, not incredibly dark. Let's see if I can put a little shadow on here, you can see a little better. See, see all this flamey, swirly bits there? I really like that. Especially right here. All right. I'm going to part it off. Look, it feels nice. I'm going to part it off. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is some kind of liquid finish on the inside so I can just kind of turn it around and get it to go into everything. 